Being precise can be a good philosophy for life. It's also what's kept a local family-owned business thriving for four decades, even with a change of families. That's this week's Made in the State Line. It's an okay place to work. <laughs> okay, maybe downplaying a little bit how Dean Svark feels about his business, J.C. Milling. He's also passionate when it comes to manufacturing in general. Dean and his wife, Dominique, bought the company in 2015. But his career really began back in the 90s after taking machining classes in high school. The industry back then was actually having a really hard time. Everything was going overseas to China. So I took an alternate route while still having actually CNC machines in my basement in my house. I actually had a drive-in basement and I had a CNC machine down there. That alternative route was corporate information technology. He's back in manufacturing, and the basement is now this 22,000 square foot plant in McChesney Park. I saw what I thought was the foundation of a really wonderful business, a high quality precision shop, that if I could incorporate some of the experiences and knowledge that I have, we just took a great shop and possibly moved even higher. J.C. Milling has customers in industries where getting it right is not only important, lives may depend on it. We do stuff that's gas and oil underground under the ocean. There's stuff all the way doing uh, uh, life support systems on the International Space Station. And this stuff is complex. A lot of it requires fourth axis, fifth axis, machining. This piece is used in medical procedures involving blood transfusions. So they said, let's make it out of one piece. So we made it out of one piece. Here's one that operates controls on nuclear reactors. Countersinks it, does a whole bunch of things, taps, drills. J.C. Milling's focus is on short-run precision pieces. That's generally anywhere from 100 to 1,000 pieces. But workers here can handle anything, engineering, design, manufacturing, quality control. I got to give these guys credit. The guys have adapted to change unbelievable since I took over. I took everything they knew and changed it, uh, not in the sense of, per se, the machining aspect, but everything around the machining aspect. Many of those employees were there recently when J.C. Milling was named Manufacturer of the Year by the Rockford Chamber of Commerce. I was lucky enough I was able to have my team there, a lot of my senior team there. Uh, so it was really a great experience to have them see what the rewards of all their efforts and, and what they've been trying to do. Dean says he has a good connection with the original family owners, John and Helen Krochkowski. They visit every few weeks. And Dean occasionally gives John a call to show him things J.C.'s working on. In